get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey, Falcons. Oh, boy, guys. Today we got some fun stuff to do. We got a brand new song. We got some fun activities and... We have a brand new musical instrument to make to add to your collection. So, enough talking. Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, first grade, we got a brand new song for you today. And it's a song that has a little bit of a game to play with it. But first, let's learn the song. This song is called In and Out. And this song, In and Out, I have a question for you. How many times do I take a breath in this song? See if you can count. In and out, roundabout, O-U-T, and that spells out. Pretty short song. How many times did I take a breath? Did you count? Listen one more time. In and out, roundabout, O-U-T, and that spells out. Three times. Very good. I took three breaths in that song. Now I have a question. There's three different parts to this song. Which part is the longest? The first, the second, or the third? Listen. In and out, round about, O-U-T, and that spells out. The third part, very, very good. I'll sing this time, you echo back, listen. In and out, round about, O-U-T, and that spells out. In and out, round about, O-U-T, and that spells out. Try a little bit longer this time. In and out, round about, O-U-T, and that spells out. Try the whole song. Sing with me this time. Here we go. In and out, round about, O-U-T, and that spells out. Can you try it by yourself? Here you go. Great. Pretty simple song. Now, there's actually a game you can play with this song. What you're going to need are some stuffed animals, maybe some toys. Probably get maybe about 20 of them if you have them. If you've got 20 things in your room, toys, stuffed animals, anything, action figures, dolls, you name it. Get 20 things, okay? What I want you to do is make a circle of those toys. You sit in the middle of your circle. And as you sing the song, you can point on that beat. In and out, round about, O-U-T, and that spells out. And on that word out, whichever toy or stuffed animal or action figure or doll you're pointing at, they are O-U-T, which spells out. They're gone. Take them out of the circle. Now you have 19 left. In and out, round about. Keep going until you've got one toy, stuffed animal, action figure, doll left in your circle. And that toy is the winner and is now your brand new favorite toy, maybe. I don't know, but it could be. So, fun little way you can play it without having a big group of people. But if you have people at your house, you can actually play with them too. You can have them stand in a circle. I don't know if you have 20 people at your house. If you do, hopefully you have a big house because that's a lot of people. But you can have some fun with actual people playing this game too. But if you don't, you can have some fun with those stuffed animals. So, let's sing it one more time. In and out, round about, O-U-T, and that spells out. Have some fun, fun playing that game and make sure you don't get out. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, first grade, grab the handlebars. Because it's time for Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Good. Try along with me. Grab those handlebars. Moving up, moving down. Try to follow me. Okay, fine. Here we go. Grab the handlebars. Here we go. See saw up and down in the air and on the ground. Good. Show me your seesaws with your arms. Try to follow me. 
It's like windshield wipers. Okay, here we go. Good luck. We're going up first. Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Great. Oh, forget my picture, right? Here we go. Let's point to our picture. I'll have it here. Point along with me. Seesaw up and down. Good. You see on Lou and point to that? Lou, 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 Lou. Great. You know, last week, I asked a couple of questions to you. See if you remember the answers to these questions. Who's got a good memory? Who's got a good listening ears? First question. How many beats do we keep in the first part of this song? Listen. Lou, 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 Lou. How many beats did I keep there? How many beats do we keep? Four beats. Nice job. Over those four beats, we sing a melody. Whenever you use our singing voice, we're singing a melody. The first two beats. Listen. Lou, Lou. You sing those? Lou, Lou. Hmm. How many different pitches? Do you remember? How many different pitches did we just sing there? Lou, Lou. Two. That's hard for me to do. Two. Okay. Two different pitches. Why are they different? How are they different? How would we describe them and tell that they are different? What's different about them? Do you remember? Lou, Lou. Right, one is high and one is low. Which one's high and which one's low? Lou, Lou. First one's high, second one's low. Very good. Nice job. Okay. How far apart are these different pitches? Are they a step apart like this? Does this sound right? Lou, 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 Lou. Does that sound right? That doesn't sound right, does it? No. Are they a skip apart like this? Lou, 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 Lou. They are a skip apart. Nice job. We can sing that now on high and low. Listen. High, low, high, high, low. Can you sing along with me? High, low, high, high, low. Good. Can you point along with me? Point up for high, point down for low. Here we go. High, low, high, high, low. Great. This time, don't sing. Think it and point. Here you go. Think. Good. Today, what I'd like you to do is you're going to need something to write on, something to write with. Maybe some crayons. We're get some color in this because today I'm going to ask you to make a picture. I'm going to ask you to make a picture, kind of like my picture here. This picture really shows what we just talked about. High, low, high, high, low. Can you make a picture that shows high and low are two different pitches we've been talking about? And can you show them in the right order? And well, you know, you can make little seesaws. You, you can make something else too. You get options here. So make a picture. You can make my picture if you want, or if you want to be creative, you can make your own picture. That's fine. But draw a picture, see what you can come up with. And once you have it, you can actually point to your picture. That's always a lot of fun. High, low, high, high, low. So go ahead and make a picture, have some fun, be creative, and make some music. All right, guys, we're going to make a musical instrument today, a do-it-yourself musical instrument. Pretty cool. You're going to need some materials to make that. First of all, you're going to need a cardboard box, okay? If you get Amazon packages at your house, perfect. You can just use that. You're also going to need a ruler, something to write with. You're going to need a scissors. Ask your parents for some help. You're also going to need some bottle caps. I have some Sprite bottle caps. Sprite, obey your thirst. You can get these at the grocery store on some soda bottles. And you're also going to need some tacky glue, some very sticky. If you have a hot glue gun, that might even work better. But again, make sure your parents are helping you out with this, all right? First thing you wanna do is make a mark on the cardboard. You have to kind of break it apart so it's nice and flat. And you wanna make a mark at about five inches on your cardboard, okay? On the one side. On the other side, make a mark at about, oh, an inch and a half or so. And then you're gonna cut that out. And when you cut that out, you're gonna get something that looks like this. This is what you should end up with. Okay? Now you're going to actually want to make two of these, not just one. Make two that are the exact same size, just like this. It's a nice long rectangle if you're into shapes. There we go. Now, what are we making, you might be asking. Well, this doesn't really look like a musical instrument, and well, it's going to become something really cool. We're going to make instruments called castanets. Castanets are a Spanish instrument that you hold between your fingers and you click. 
you can click some really cool rhythms on these. We're going to make something using these materials. So you've got your two slips of cardboard. Next thing you want to do is fold it in half like this. Fold it in half. So now you have a little, almost like an alligator mouth there. Okay. You can probably figure out the next step. You're going to put some tacky glue around the edge of your bottle cap. Okay. You're going to put it on there. If you have hot glue, same thing. You're going to put it on and you're going to put it down on the edge of this like that. You're going to put it just like that. Okay. It's going to take a little while to dry. If you're using this type of glue, it may take close to half an hour or so. So make sure you leave a little bit of time to do that. So leave it there. You're going to take your other bottle cap and do it on the opposite side so that they line up when they are folded like that. Okay. So you're going to glue that down the same thing. Make sure they line up when you close it. Okay. Experiment a little bit and you'll glue those down. Once they are glued, you're set. Here's what I did with Coke bottles. I have a little castanet. Take a listen. Hold it. A castanet. You can even decorate it with some markers. Through some lines and some music notes on there. You can decorate it as much as you want. Get some markers, get some crayons, get some stickers, get some googly eyes. I don't know. Make some fun castanets. When you're done, you'll have one for each hand if you did two different ones. Just like I had one for each hand with these castanets. Have some fun with these cast nets. You can make some rhythms and have some fun with them. Below here, I have a flip grid link. What I'd like you to do is show me your cast nets that you made. Show me what you used. Show me how you made them. And don't forget to play them too. So make some cast nets and make some music. first grade now we've been having some fun today been making some instruments and singing some songs oh it's almost I can be a little sleepy here oh sorry I could kind of go for a nap I could kind of go for a lullaby you know I want to try something um I need something to write on something to write with a piece of paper and a pen is fine I want to write out a song I want to write out a song that is a lullaby starlight star bright first star I see tonight Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Can you set your paper up like this? Four beats, four beats, four beats, and four beats. Okay. This song is very interesting because every set of beats is a different pattern. Let's see if we can figure them out. First one, listen. Lou, 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 Lou. Ooh, that starts pretty easy, actually. It's Lou, 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 Lou. What do you notice about every single beat? Yeah, they are all ties. They're all going to be quarter notes. So go ahead and write those in. Good. Ta, 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 ta. Good. The next set of beats. Oof. This one's a little tricky. Okay? Let's have that first one written. Next one, listen. First star I see tonight. Hmm. Lou, 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 Lou. Ooh, we got some toddies this time. Lou, 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 Lou. Can you figure it out? Lou, 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 Lou. Ta, ta, di, ta, di, ta. Hmm. So a quarter note, and then we need eight notes. And then more eight notes, and then a quarter note. Good. Okay. Next one. Different again. Listen. Wish I may, wish I might. Hmm. Lou, 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 Lou. Oh, it's like a pattern. You figured out? Ta di ta, ta di ta. Good. What would that look like? Eight notes, quarter note. Eight 
I think it's quarter note. Make sure you have that written. Okay, we're our last line. No two are the same, so listen care for this last one. Have the wish I wish tonight. Lou, 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 Lou. Can you figure it out? Lou, 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 Lou. Yeah. Ta dee, ta dee, ta dee, ta. Three toddies and a ta. Make sure you have this whole song written out. Can we sing it on the rhythms? Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ta, di, ta, di, ta. Ta, di, ta, ta, di, ta. Ta, di, ta, di, ta, di, ta. You know, that's a nice song. You know what? What our new instrument? What are our castanets? What if we, um, what if we play our castanets? What if we play our song as we sing it? Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ta, di, ta, di, ta. Ta, di, ta, ta, di, ta. Ta, di, ta, di, ta, di, ta. You know what's cool about the castanets? You can play them loud, or you can play them really quiet. See if you can play this song, not loud. It's a lullaby, right? See if you can play it quietly. So have some fun writing out the song. Hopefully you did that. Have some fun playing on the castanets. Then you can play your castanets on many other rhythms. Maybe write out some of your own patterns. So have fun making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So until next time. Thank you.